Welcome back to the best Android apps of August 2019. This time around, I have one wallpaper, six apps, and four games. Let's check them out. CRISPR is the wallpaper app for this month, and it's got some of the most beautiful pictures I've ever seen. Even though each one is from Unsplash, the developer includes some really amazing selections, and you're not going to find a single image that isn't in high definition. Matter of fact, most of the photos are in 4K resolution or higher. When tapping on a picture, you can see the camera info, artist info, and an option to download or set it as the wallpaper. And the photos are categorized in the collections tab. They also include illustrations, which you can edit. For example, you can change the background color, customize some of the colors in the illustration and more. I really enjoy the overall UI design. It has some beautiful animations and transitions, really shows that the developer has put a lot of effort into his app. Moving on, the first app is called CleanFox. This is for anyone who receives way too many emails from companies that you don't even remember subscribing to. It lets you quickly delete and unsubscribe from newsletters, any advertising emails, and more. You'll also be able to see how many emails you receive from each newsletter and how often you open their emails. In my case, I delete and unsubscribe from all the newsletters that have an opening rate of less than 15%, but I can also just remove groups of emails and still stay subscribed, or choose not to delete any at all. And each time I delete massive amounts of emails, CleanFox will let me know how much emission I stopped, because apparently one email emits 10 grams of CO2 per year, and each year, all emails worldwide emit 130 million tons of CO2. You can see just how damaging it is to stockpile your mailbox. The process to get this working is very straightforward. CleanFox will let you connect your email to their server, and they'll immediately detect all of your newsletters by activating the IMAP protocol within your account. You can also connect multiple accounts from any email service, free of charge. I definitely recommend you give it a try. Not only will you clean out your inbox, but you'll also be saving the environment in the process. If you're a techie like me, then you're most likely the technician in the family. Everyone is always asking you to help them with an issue that they're facing on their phone. And sometimes when you're not physically in front of them, it can be challenging to explain the solution over the phone verbally. So with AirDroid remote support, you can now connect and see the other person's screen on your device and guide them through the process of solving their issue much more quickly. While the screen is being captured, you can voice chat with the person, message them, interact with their screen so they can know where to tap or swipe, and the person that's sharing their screen can pause the session. Depending on your Wi-Fi connection, the resolution is pretty good. Sure, there is a one second delay and the live video isn't extremely smooth, but it's clear enough to assist the other person on the other end quickly. Just keep in mind that the person you're trying to help will need to have the app AirDroid Remote Support installed, and you will need to install AirMirror Remote Support. Those are two separate apps. They will give you the nine digit code. You type it in, hit connect, they'll accept, enable the screen capture permission, and you're good to go. Just keep in mind that it's free for only 48 hours. Afterwards, you'll need to pay $2 a month or $12 a year to continue using this service. OH Private Web Browser is probably the most underrated browser on the Play Store. That being said, download it if you're a person who really cares about the privacy or when you're trying to have some fun while you're by yourself. When you close the app, everything will automatically be cleared, including history, cookies, cache, etc. And it doesn't have any unnecessary dangerous permissions, including location, camera, microphone, or the contact permission. To top it all off, the interface is incredible. First off, everything is at the bottom for easier access with one hand, and you can swipe down or tap on the hand icon to bring down an entire page. Secondly, I love that they included so many extra features such as an ad blocker, a dark mode, which also darkens websites, an option to save web pages such as a PDF file, reader mode, a ton of gesture controls on the buttons in the toolbar. My favorite gesture is that I can switch between my open tabs by sliding my finger back and forth on the ninja icon, or I can go forward or backward by swiping on the search icon. It's also extremely customizable. I just scratched the surface on what this browser can do, but definitely give it a try. Just keep in mind that this app works with all premium features for the first seven days. After that, premium features will be disabled unless you pay a one-time payment of $1.49. The developer was generous enough to provide me with 52 promo codes to give away to you guys, so follow me on Twitter at HowToMen for a chance at winning one. For those of you who shop online for clothing, I recently stumbled across the perfect app called Dote. It brings all the popular clothing stores together so you can scroll through a feed of random clothings from different brands. You can shop from Forever 21, Urban Outfitters, PacSun, J. Crew, Vans, Adidas, and more. Plus you can filter the results by clothing type, gender, popularity, if it's on sale, and more. The best part is that checking out a product can be done within the app itself. No longer do you need to set up an online account at every store or browse multiple websites at the same time. 
If you were looking for a beautiful weather app, Appy Weather is a solid choice. The crazy thing about this is that it was released on Windows Phone around five years ago, and now since Windows Phones are kind of dead, it's now available on Android. But the main reason why I love this weather app is that it provides the forecast in a very conversational way instead of just throwing a bunch of numbers on the screen. And the design is beautiful and minimal. First off, the main page shows you a timeline of the current forecast and upcoming weather events, including if an advisory warning is in effect, the sunrise or sunset times, and more. Plus, you can expand each card to bring up even more information, and you can swipe up on the bottom toolbar to change all of the timeline information to something specific, such as the precipitation, wind, visibility, etc. Swiping to the left will bring up the hourly forecast, and the rightmost screen provides you with the weekly forecast. Tapping on a date will expand it, and it'll give you all the weather information that you need for that day. It does have a yearly subscription of $3.99, which is optional but it'll unlock extra features such as widgets, weather info in the status bar, no ads, and more. However, the developer was generous enough to provide me with five promo codes to give away to you guys, so if you'd like to get a chance at winning one, just follow me on Twitter at HowToMan again, and I'll be dropping them in a few days. Immersive Mode, which is a feature that allows you to manually enable an app to become full screen by temporarily removing your status bar and navigation bar, used to be a native feature on stock Android. But somewhere along the way, the quick settings tile or settings option got removed, and now it's harder to enable that option on a per app basis. Luckily, I stumbled across Immersive Mode Manager, and even though it does cost $1.99 to download, I think it's well worth the money, because it's the only app on the Play Store that makes it easy to enable Immersive Mode on any of your favorite apps. You don't even have to go full screen, you can choose to just hide the status bar or the navigation bar. Just keep in mind that when you first load up the app, you'll need to type in an ADB command to get this working, but the app should see the step-by-step -step process to do that easily. Also, the developer was generous enough to provide me with 100 promo codes to give away to you guys on Twitter at HowToMen, so you now, now you guys definitely need to follow me there if you want those promo codes. Switching to the games, the first one is called Modern Ops. It's an online FPS 3D shooter, and it's very similar to the Modern Combat series or Bullet Force game. Each match can include up to 10 players. There are a ton of beautiful maps to explore. You can use kill streaks such as drone strikes, sentry guns, etc. And there are a ton of battle modes that you can play in once you start to level up. This includes team deathmatch, point capture, free for all, knives only, etc. And you can unlock and upgrade more than 30 different guns. You can even create or join clans once you reach level 5. The graphics are amazing and it's a really fun game if you like running around a map and shooting the enemy. Give it a try if you're looking for a bit of action. This next game is pretty old, but I thought I'd show it off anyways because it's extremely fun and maybe some of you don't even know about it. It's called That Level Again, and the goal here is really simple. You just need to navigate your character and somehow unlock the door on the other side of the room to advance to the next stage. Keep in mind that every stage looks exactly the same, but every time you advance, there's a new unique way to bypass the door. So it really makes you think outside the box, and it's crazy how they managed to make 80 levels with the same looking room, just different ways to win. Once you finish the game and if you enjoyed it, the developer made three other sequels to challenge your creativity. Evil Clogs is next and it reminds me a lot of the popular Badland games. Each level is extremely dark and filled with creepy objects that you can interact with, and the objective is to get the small light beam to the end of the stage. Tapping on the right side of the screen will make the little guy float to the right, and tapping on the left will move him to the left. As you tunnel through each level, you must have quick reactions because random rocks, spikes, razors, or monsters will come out of nowhere and try to kill you. The graphics are phenomenal and it's a great way to kill time. The last game is called Dead Effects 2 and it's the best looking game on this list. Essentially, you're just going around shooting aliens and zombies and it can get pretty intense as some of your enemies are stronger than others. Of course, you'll be able to upgrade your weapons, armor, and more. If you decide to play this game, you'll have a ton of gameplay to complete. According to the developers, the campaign is more than 20 hours long and the special missions are an extra 10 hours, so give it a try if you're looking for something juicy to stick your teeth into. Anyways, that concludes the best Android apps of August 2019. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to smash that thumbs up button. If you're new here, get subscribed with the notification bell turned on so you don't miss out on any future Android videos. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at HowToMan for all those promo codes, and check out my line of merch at HowToMan.shop. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Kapow!